Welcome back to Our Little Handmade Home. It's the 12 days of Christmas in July and we are up to day three already. You can see the project behind me. It's some cute little yarn trees. They're quick and easy to make, super fun to customize to any decor, and I know I'm gonna be making a ton of them. So let's get started. Day three project, here we go. Today we're gonna to make simple yarn Christmas trees. To start with, I have three different sizes of these uh, styrofoam triangles. This one is 14 inches high, 14.8, pardon me, 11.8 and 8.8 .8 inches high. I like to display things in threes, so we're gonna make three different types of trees using these. For decoration, I have some stick pins, just regular sewing pins. I have some little cranberries that I bought from the dollar store last Christmas. And I have these little styrofoam balls. Now these actually you can buy all year long, at least at our dollar store. They're, they're called glitter vase filler. So if you're looking for something like this, check the wedding section of your dollar store. That's where I found these. So we're going to start with our smallest tree form first. What I'm using for this one, if you recall, I made a couple of wreaths using this really nice thick chenille type of yarn. I will leave a link for it down below. And all I'm going to do is take this and simply wrap it around the tree. I'm going to secure one end with a little dot of hot glue. Not very much because of course it'll melt the styrofoam, but just enough to hold it in place. Of course you can start from the top of this as well if you want. With this thicker yarn, you want to make sure that you're kind of squishing it all together so that you don't get really big ridges on it. But just go ahead and wrap it all the way around. So I'm going to put just a little drop of glue right here to hold it in place. Again, not so much that it's going to melt the styrofoam. I want it to hold there. I'm going to trim it here and a little dab on top. Just tuck that end down into the middle of it. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually just leave it like this. I mean, it's cute, just plain white, especially if you have a colored um, board to set it on or something like that, but we're gonna add a little more. So for this tree, I'm going to take these cute little cranberries now they come in bunches like this, but I'm just gonna twist them out by themselves and I'm just gonna stick them in. Now if you find that you're pushing the wire in and they're getting stuck, you can either trim the wire or you can bend it. So go ahead and fill it as full as you like and anywhere that you have a little gap just pop another one in you can make it extremely full or very sparse depending on your style but just make it fit your decor and that is tree number one so now we're going to make our second tree which is the middle size it's nearly 12 inches tall and for this one we're going to be using a baby blanket yarn. This is um, soft like the first one, but as you can see, it's much thinner. And same thing, we're gonna go ahead and put it at the bottom here. Be careful not to put too much on because you will melt the styrofoam. For this first row, you'll wanna put a little bit around the whole base because it is such thin yarn compared to the last one anyways just to make sure that you're getting your yarn all the way down to the edge and once you get it all the way around to where you started let it sit for a couple of minutes and let it cool off and harden so as you can see for this one i am going to be wrapping it slightly different rather than having the ridges all the way up because this yarn is so much thinner than the last one if you purposely wrap it kind of 
all over the place, it creates a much different look. It's a little more rustic, a little more casual. So of course, if you're looking for something that is um, more classic, then maybe this method isn't for you. But I kind of like the, the crisscross sort of meandering type of style of this one. So just go ahead and keep wrapping wherever until you have the whole tree covered and you have the shape that you're looking for. So for the top of this tree, I'm going to put a small stick pin in here. It's white at the top, just so that when I'm going around the top, I have an anchor that is going to catch the yarn. Take a look at the tree on a hole and make sure that you've covered in all your gaps. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of exposed styrofoam here. So I'm just going to work this up around the top. Now you can use a little bit of glue here just to make sure that it all stays in place. I cut it with just a little tail left. And I'm just going to use the end of my scissors to tuck that tail in underneath another piece. And then what we're going to do with this one is actually use some of these little pins. I just want a little bit of color on this one, mainly red and green. So I'm just going to randomly put the stick pins in. And just as we did before with the cranberries, just keep adding until you have the coverage that you're looking for. And it's okay if they kind of get buried a little bit in the yarn, the color's still gonna come through. So add as much color as you need to fit your decor. It's time to move on to our third and final tree. For this one, we're actually going to wrap it very similar to the second one. We're just gonna do sort of a random wrap. And what we're going to use is our glitter vase fillers. Now, these are styrofoam. So the styrofoam com combined with the styrofoam and hot glue, you're not gonna get a good look. So when you're using this type of thing, what you wanna do is use toothpicks. So take your wire cutters, cut your toothpick in half, put one end into the base filler, and then you'll be popping it in to your base. So that's gonna allow you to put these wherever you like, but you're not going to be wrecking everything with your hot glue. So once you're satisfied with how your yarn is wrapped on this tree, we're going to start attaching our little balls. You can do as many or as few as you like. As you can see, what I've done here is I actually inserted a full toothpick at the top in order to wrap my yarn around at the top to get the coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick a little silver ball right on the very top. And what I find is working the best for me is to cut my toothpicks in half, or roughly in half, insert the thicker end into the tree section, and then put my little ball on top of that. Once you feel that your trees have enough adornment on them, we're going to display them and see how they look. Thanks again for tuning in for day three of the 12 days of Christmas in July here at our little handmade home. As always, any links that I have for you are going to be down below. I'll also link to any of the projects that have come before this one, and going forward, I'll be sure to link them all in the videos. 
I hope you enjoyed the yarn trees as much as I do, and I can't wait to see how you finish yours. I would love if you would tag me on social media with hashtag our little handmade home. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when I have a super cute, super quick sewing project for you.